troops of Operation Hadar in Daji and other subsidiary operations have sustained their operations in the Northwest progressively. The gallant troops within the period carried out several operations, including rescue operations, as well as clearance, ambushes, and air patrols. These operations led to the rescue of abducted persons, neutralization of criminal elements, and recovery of arms and ammunition. Within the period in focus, troops of Operation Hadar in Daji, while on routine patrol around Gidan, Dan, Nunu, and Dutsi villages of Zurmi local government area of Zamfara State, made contact with bandits. In the course of the encounter, the gallant troops rescued seven kidnapped victims. Relatedly, on the 31st of December, troops acting on credible intelligence rescued two women and a child kidnapped at Kimbi Sawa village of Basari local government area of Castina State. Rescued victims were immediately reunited with their families. In a related development, troops of Operation Accord rescued three kidnapped victims on New Year Day. Following credible intelligence that armed bandits stormed Tungaroa village in Anka local government area of Zafara State. Rescued victims were also reunited with their families. Equally, troops of Operation Sahel Sanity arrested two escaped two suspected armed bandits on New Year Day, following a tip off at Marabam Megura in Faskari local government area. Preliminary investigation revealed that suspects had connection with a notorious armed bandit leader in Madachi village of Sabua local government area. In the same vein, troops of Operation Sahel Sanity on the 2nd of January this year, based on intelligence, neutralized five armed bandits at Gerin Garus. Items recovered include two AK-47 rifles, two magazines and 18 rounds of 7.62 special ammunition. Troops have continued to dominate the Northwest Theater of Operation with aggressive fighting and area patrols to deny the criminal elements freedom of action. For the Northwest Zone, the troops of the Armed Forces of Nigeria and other security agencies have not relented in their efforts to decimate the Boko Haram terrorists and ice wipe elements. Between 31st of December 2020 and the 6th of January 2021, that is yesterday, troops of Operation Lafayette Adulis sustained their ground and air operations by adopting continuous vigilance and offensive postures. Within the period, the Air Task Force of Operation Lafayette had only neutralized several ice swap terrorist elements and destroyed their structures alongside some logistics items in airstrikes conducted at Tubungini, General Area of Borno State. This was achieved after a series of area surveillance missions indicated that the structures and logistics items camouflaged under dense vegetation was used as staging area for the criminals and their leaders to meet, from where they plan and launch attacks on troops and civilians. Similarly, on the 1st of January, the Air Task Force destroyed New Boko Haram terrorist settlement and neutralized some of their fighters at Manawaji in Borno State. In another development on the 2nd of January, the Air Task Force took out some Boko Haram terrorist criminal elements hideouts and eliminated some of their fighters during airstrikes at Kotekura and Bulama Isamari within the Timbuktu Triangle in Borno State. The airstrikes were executed based on credible intelligence reports indicating that the terrorists had established camps at the two settlements, where they stored their logistics items as well as plan and launch attack on civilians and troops. Subsequently, series of air patrols and intelligence surveillance reconnaissance missions as well as air cover for surface troops have been continuously conducted across the zone. In the North Central Zone, troops of the Armed Forces of Nigeria have continued to intensify ongoing kinetic operations to decisively stamp out armed banditry and other criminalities. On the 31st of December, troops of Operation Safe Haven, in collaboration with personnel of the Department of State Services, 
arrested two suspected gun runners, Yahya Ali, Mewada Idris, and Ishak Mohammed at Kafanchan in Jema, local government area of Kaduna State. The suspects were handed over to the state services for further investigation. Similarly, on the 2nd of January, troops of Operation Safe Heaven, in collaboration with the state services, arrested a suspected member of a notorious kidnap gang, Kwon Suleiman Tanko. The suspect was picked up at a clinic at Mwankapinta village in Jema, local government area of Kaduna State, where he was receiving treatment for gunshot wounds sustained during a kidnap operation foiled by troops. Tanko's arrest was followed by the arrest of another wanted kidnap victim, the kidnap kingpin, one Malam Abdumuminu Nuhu at Fobul village in just east local government area of Plateau State on the 3rd of January. Same day, troops of Operation Safe having apprehended three suspects, David Kure, Peter Adamu, and Bulus Dunia, in connection with the alleged murder of a Fulani header at Mateo village of Zonzon district in Zangun, Kata, local government area of Kaduna State. Two other suspects, Matthew Peter, the prime suspect, and the Kachi Johan Chawi were arrested in connection with the murder on January 4th. All suspects are presently undergoing preliminary investigation. <laughs>